Hello everybody, welcome back, I am Crimson Dragon, and uh, yeah, again, welcome back to our little quaint uh, getaway area, um, back to our little humble abode, and uh, I still can't get over how, uh, how cool this place is, I really like it, I swear if I could get a place, this is how I want it to look. Yeah, a little cabin somewhere or something, be nice. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, off camera, uh, last time, uh, like I said, I was going to do up the, uh, the other job and everything, and uh, got that recipe and whatnot, and I made it, and so on and so forth, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead into the Brewer's quarter Quarterly and see what, uh, we have. Uh, first season is upon us, Brewer. And that can only mean one thing. A new issue of Quarterly. Uh, what's your favorite trip, uh, tipple? Uh, I've always uh, been partial to an IPA. And there is just so happens to be a job in this issue to brew a hop heavy beer. Sometimes uh, being editor pays off. Um, how about drawing your hands at an IPA? It uh, meet the hoppy requirement of the job as well as making this old man happy. Two birds with one stone. So uh, we got a brew uh, beer category of an IPA, and we get a cooler. The traditional first mesh turn uh, ton of the all grain home brewer, and so it a construction house. Uh, Stabilize uh, the critical mash temperature. Uh, cool. Okay. Yes. Sure. All right. So let's go ahead and get this done. We need an IPA. So. Do 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 do. I guess they're both IPAs. So we got uh, both small IBU of at least 20. Use at least one hops from Germany. Uh, two, two, two. Oh, Jeff's uh, bitterness is measured in IBUs uh, and can increase by using hops with higher alpha acidic acid content. Uh, Jeff's tip. If a recipe doesn't include German hops, try throwing them in anyway to increase carbonation and more corn sugar before the final conditioning phase. Um, oh, we could do beer tokens, we can get an additional mastery, or we can go and we can get ourselves a magnet. A magnet to mark the garden brews community garden event let's go with the specialty that's fine I did that so with that we need to go to recipes uh, what do we need um, anything special nothing really special hmm okay With higher alphas as a content. Okay, the recipes. Do, 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 do. Let me see here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We want uh, at least a 30 IBU. Uh, IBU 41. Okay, so this one will work. What's the other one? This one will not work because this is under what we need. So we can't do this one. Oh, there's more. IBU 25 to 60. It's an IPA. Oh. 
Dang it. What IPA? Urgh, why can we not use this? That really stinks. All right, New England IPA. This is gonna be it. We're gonna have to use this one. Oh wait a minute, New England IPA. Okay, never mind. We are making this. Okay, we got this. We got this. Article. All right. Yeah, we already went over this and everything. So uh, we, we need a catalog, and we need ingredients. Uh, recipe pin. Uh, chocolate. Mm. Add to cart. 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 <laughs> wow, we gotta buy a lot. Wow. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna cost us 55. We got 160, so. Alright. Buy all. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and store all. Let's go ahead and start making our beer. As I will just lay everything out on the table there. That's all right. Let's clean this. No, I can manage anyways. So we need to turn on for 21. I'm learning. I can be taught. I can be taught. So we're done with that. Oh shoot, we don't need this on yet. Nope, nope, nope. Malt extract. Dang it. All right, so we need to add light malt extract, three kilos, and wheat, 600. Three kilos and 600. Three kilos and 600. Uh, sure, I hope. <laughs> All right, what's this one? The wheat. So with the wheat, we need 600 grams. Dang it. That's that. This we need. Oh, come on. Um, this we need uh, 300. No, 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 no. Not this, not this. Number one. We need three kilos of this. So let's pour all of this in. It looks like honey going in there. <laughs> Okay, now we can, that's that. 
at Steeple Brew Chocolate, 100 grams. Okay, heat went that um, 100. Okay, remove, okay, add hops, uh, okay, 20 grams, okay, get out, we need uh, Huntsman Flight 60. Sixty. Okay. This one for no. Uh, this one for fifty minutes. So it would be um, 40. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yep, 40. But 30, we want to add the other hops. Do, 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 do. So we did that, we did that. Um, now we gotta cool it down so we wait a day. Down to 20. Okay. Transfer it to fermenter container. I believe I cleaned this out too. Oh, this camera is like kind of bothering me. Okay, that's done. Add yeast, North American ale, 150. Get on in there. Okay. 
confirm it for 15 days. Oh, excuse me. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. 160 grams of sugar. So we would need, if we use this, we would need another 24. Twenty four. That work. Okay, we transfer to condition container. That's that. Now that needs to do its thing for 21 days. Do, 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 do. All right. Boop. Now we taste and package. Let's see how well we did. That doesn't look like an IPA. <laughs> uh, fruit and spice. Flavored notes in this beer, citrus, tropical fruit, ester, lemon, floral, grapefruit, bread, wheat, chocolate, coffee. Hmm. Interesting. IBU, 40. I think we passed. Activity and recipe match. Nice. Aroma. Oh, standard flavors. Crisp and clean fruit and spice. Multi and sweet. Hoppy and bitter. Off. Dark and roasted. Awesome. I like the Belgian style that little, little different there for me. I like that. Whoa. Let's see here, background.
There we go. Here we go. What we got here? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go for that. I like that. Okay. see here we'll go with the crimson IPA I think we gotta change the text on it though it will make her change this no that's good that's good it is beer name text Brighter red. Can't really see it though. That's really the problem. That green is just throwing it off just enough. I can't. Uh. Hmm. Man. I guess I'm gonna have to do a yellow. I guess that's that green is kind of hard to see on this. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hmm.
Okay. Anyways. Kind of like that. So we'll submit it. Alright, we got our little magnet here. We gained uh, one mastery. We did, uh, got beer tokens, 25. So let's submit the beer to this one. We still, we can still do this one too. A tragically good brew. So let's, uh, submit. We even got a bonus too. That's nice. Bonus is a 25. Oh, okay. Okay. Bam. All right. Brewmaster magnet. A magnet in the style of the Brewmaster logo. And that's even the one that we just put on our beer too. Sweet. Earn a season four points. All right. Let's put this on our shelf. Bam. All right. Brewmaster, uh, brew a beer in the category of an IPA. Okay, let's see, we don't need to, see ours came out darker than this. I was expecting it to come out lightly, but whatever, unpin. No jobs, it's uh, Put this off to the side. It does clean this. All right, so we can use it next time, and it's all nice and clean. Oh, what's this? The weird box? What's in here? Oh yeah. Sweet. Okay. In here, we complete that one. We can do the excuse me. We can do this one. So let's go ahead. Let's let's do it up. So recipes we need to do this here, which will do a. I hope. One of these hops is German. No idea. Pin ingredients. Origin Germany. Yes. Good. At the cart. Germany. At the cart. Add to cart. 35. We got 205. So let's buy all. And let's get it done. All right. We are on a roll and how to do all this. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. <laughs> oh, man. You. Empty. Bingo. Okay. <laughs> I was saying that we were like a master of it, and yeah, what do I do? Uh, wheat malt extract, 2.5. Err.
One point. Oh no, we need two point five. Oh, that's fine. All right, this is two. And then we just get two of these. Two more of them. Now give us our 50. We need uh, Vienna 150. Wrong cupboard. And we need to, okay. Boil to 150, I mean 100. Okay, add hops, Roth, 10 grams, and then the Ismar, 35. So, this one goes in for 50 minutes. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So, 20. I don't know why I took the long way in doing that math, but I did. So, but... We need to stop at 10 so we can put the other hops in. Okay, uh, that is done, that is done, remove, cool down, okay, transfer. We are getting this. It's almost like we know what we're doing. Okay. Okay. Yes, Bavarian 150. Whoops. Okay. 
And we ferment for 15 days. Corn starch, 220. A little bit too much, but whatever. Ah, get out of there. Transfer. And our good old container here. Ah, uh, one V, not C. I guess it's empty. Oh, get out of there. That is done. Condition for 21 days. See how well we did. Hmm. Multi and sweet. in space hmm dang 11 so we got clove citrus phenolic apricot sulfur okay we banana bread floral herbal earthy nice caramel toffee dry fruit grass okay <laughs> wow Got some flavors in there, I guess. Heavy body. Mr. P match. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm just going to, this is not our main one, but I am going to change it. I'm going to go to um, uh, there. Whatever. Okay. Submit it. That's fine. Curve Mastery 4, Connoisseur B15. So we still need to do another 10. Hmm. 
tweet tweet. I think I need to try to get some more shelves in here. So we stock our other beer. Night Fury, yeah, this was uh, first, first one. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and do our next day. Continue to our next day. Yipper. It's time for the next vital step in your journey, Brewer. All grain brews uh, replace malt extracts with, you guessed it, grains. And in so doing open up a vast world uh, of flavor combinations and mouth uh beer styles. Boy, you mean once you go all grain, you'll never go back. <laughs> I've sent you a package containing a trusty companion to all homebrewers, a repurposed uh, picnic cooler. Uh, this will serve as your mash tun. Uh, use it Using all grain recipes to get sugars out of the grains, you'll essentially be making your own extract now. Uh, you'll find a couple of all grain recipes in this latest issue of Quarter Week uh, to get you started. Uh, let's get mashing. Use mash ton. Complete all. Complete an all grain brew. Ooh, what do we got? Game of Foams, <laughs> beer detected. Make sure to use an all grain recipe to fill this jar. All grain uh, brewing requires a mash ton. Uh, ABV can be increased for any recipe by adding more grains uh, for all grain recipes or malt extract for extract recipes. All right, so we need hmm. So we gotta use a grain. And yeah, what's this here? A bottle cap styled after the logo of our digital. Interesting. But we need the kilned malts. Kilned malts. Uh. Hmm. All right. What we got? The Belgian IPA or the Blonde Ale? Brewing method, all grain, all grain. Hmm. Hmm. 
Keonid Maltz. What the heck? Have been dried out as usual, then nothing they kiln for extra time and at higher temperature to require some new features. Often, they often have toasty biscuit, cookie, and caramel flavors. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I don't know though, that's the thing. I don't know which one to go for. I think I'm gonna go with this one, heck with it. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It, they often have toasty biscuit cookie caramel. Toasty cookie. Caramel. I think this is it. Caramel. Yeah, no, we want this one because this one has all the flavors. So we need this one. Okay. Micro pump, an expensive uh, basic pump that uh, speeds up the process of transferring your beer from one container to another. Interesting. Whoa. Huh. Okay. We don't need any of that. We need this. Double clicking, never doing any buys it already for you. So now we're at 130. And I think that's everything that we need. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, this should help you help with your first all great brew. I hope it serves you well as it did me. There it is. Okay, so we're all. So, uh, let's get out our thing here. There we go. All right, at Grain Mash Ton, Belgian. Add Grain to Mash Ton, Belgian Pilsner. Oh shoot, I didn't read the 
three and a half kilos. Okay. I can't see. Bingo. Okay. British Malt Ale 3. Jeez, I'm gross. Seriously. And then Dark uh, Munich, 400. Uh, one over. Whatever. All right, that's done. Cover it up. I guess we do nothing else to this. Oh. Oh, okay. Read ahead, you'll find out. Okay, we can do that off. Do 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 do. Need to heat this to eighty four. Add 10 liters of hot water to mesh
hold mesh as for one hour by topping up with hot water when required. Kidding me? I'm doing anymore. Eleven eaters. Dang it. I got no idea. <laughs> uh, this whole performing the mesh out part confused me.
Palenka. Palenka, 50 grams. Uh, we need Sanborn, 60. And where? Where you got forty? All right, so this one goes in first, and that's for fifty. So that'll bring it to uh. Oh, 03. So 53. We need to put in the other two. Done, 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 cool. Okay. Uh, this is gonna. <laughs> oh, man. I really hate to know what this one's gonna taste like. Or even gonna just come out like. Looks like it's gonna be clear. Okay. Weighs an L one fifty. Paying C for some reason. From it for 15 days. Do, 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 do. Okay. Corn sugar, 140 grams. We can add this and then we just add another. 70 grams. Why I keep hitting that button? Dang it. Where's our container? I don't need this. That's 
that for another uh, 21 days. <sighs> All right, let's see how bad we botched this. The beer has failed the tasting test. The batch size of the beer is too small. Added water to the container. Shake it up. <laughs> oh, how bad did this go? Carbonation's in the middle, almost. Definitely a pale. Extremely hazy? I don't know about that. Wow. Hey, it looks like a cup. <laughs> uh, what do we get for aroma and flavors? We've got the um we got the caramel. Okay. We've got the citrus. No. Toasty. Cookie. Uh, what was the other one? I don't remember. I don't remember what the other one was. Earthy? I don't know. Anyways. Baron is very high. Wow. Mmm. Yes. 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 I think we did it. I don't think we got the... Oh. All right. This is the... Crimson Grain. Whoops. Grain, 3.1. Third season. Now first, uh... Dang. Whatever. Uh, let me see here. Uh... Can I dig that? I'll go with that one. I like that. Um.
Okay, no, we don't want to change that. The heck? Here we go. Dragonstone text too, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's fill it out a little bit. There we go. Okay. Submit beer. All right, we even got our bonus. Using a gradient of a, okay, nice. All right, we got our bonus. Tweet, tweet. All right, look at that. Uh-oh, I had no place to put it. Put it there for now, I guess. All right. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bam. All right. Okay, well. I think I'm going to call it quits for today. Still had a little fun. Brewed our first, uh, brewed our first grain. Made our own, uh, little mash. So, uh. Yeah, interesting. This will clean the item and return it to storage. Yes. All right. So, I think, uh, let's just see what we do next time. I think next time we'll start uh, buying some stuff here and uh, kind of rearranging some of this a little bit and uh see what we could do it's uh not much actually we can do right here is there hmm maybe we could buy some see what we can uh we can do about that but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this I still get a kick out of this place and still find it all uh, humble and whatnot. This cleans and returns all equipment and ingredients to storage. Uh, you will lose any beers or equipment. There we go. Wow. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. Oh, anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I do. Like I said, always enjoyed coming in here. Very, very quaint and relaxing and everything for some reason. I like it.
definitely seems like a place to brew beer and whatnot. But um, yeah, anyways, um, I'll have yourself a good one. Stay healthy. Bye.